Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll give a brief overview of Apache Madlib from a practitioner's point of view, that is, from a data scientist's perspective. As a data scientist, I regularly use Apache Madlib to solve large-scale problems within the Greenplum environment. It is powerful and convenient at the same time as it offers many machine learning algorithms and data utility functions that can run at scale on large data sets without having to move the data into another system or sample it down. Here's a quick example of Madlib used on a real commercial data science use case for a large membership-based retailer. The effort was to model customer membership churn involving three terabytes and two years worth of data from sources such as transaction data, accounts data, competitive data, and, and more. The task was to predict the likelihood that any given customer would churn, the idea being that marketing could more efficiently design programs or offers to address those customers most likely to churn. With all the data present in Greenplum, more than 300,000 features across 6 million customers were engineered for this effort. Madlib's implementation of the supervised elastic net algorithm was applied to the training data set, giving us the ability to train on such large data set data efficiently. The elastic net prediction function is then used to score the model on all customers. Quite often, no matter what the size of the training set, the data sets that need to be scored are larger and um, also need to be scored on an ongoing basis. And Madlib makes this relatively seamless. There are also model post-processing utilities such as prediction metrics and the cross-validation function in the case of Elastic Net to make model evaluation and parameter tuning easier. The downstream results of this churn modeling effort were then used by the business to, business to target programs more efficiently to their customer base, saving money and time. To conclude, I will leave you with a look at the main functionality in Madlib and highlight for you the Elastic Net function and the supervised learning algorithms, graph algorithms, uh, model utility functions that I mentioned, and data utility functions such as the summary function, pivoting, encoding categorical variables, and sampling, all of which augment what Greenplum already provides. That's it for me, and thank you for watching.